This is what Kenneth Roma left to us as a legacy. Above all, we must realize that success is not the amount of money you have in the bank. No. Success is not the flashy cars you drive on the heap or the huge houses you live in. No. It's not success. If that was success, I think Jesus would be the world's worst failure. <laughs> because he didn't have any of these things. So, we need to appreciate and find the center of our universe. What is success for us as young people, as leaders of this country? Where does success lie? When I don't go out into the bundus, into the hinterlands, two successive weekends, I feel incomplete. So the people at my house were saying, oh, so these days you don't like us. You complain when you are not away. But I feel an emptiness if I'm not out in Tsabong, if I'm not in Veda, if I'm not out there. I feel an emptiness. That's the, the sickness that now afflicts me. That's success, I think. When I can feel that burning desire to reconnect, to be with the people out there, to speak to their problems, to listen to their challenges, that for me defines now who I am fast becoming. And I'm pleased with what I'm turning out today. So that those who at some point thought, he cannot be like, oh, someone told me, say, can this man, do you visualize this man in Bubono? Well, you visual, visualize him in worse places than that. Because I've been there and I'm still going to be there. Because Kenneth Como was there. He went to all these places selling an idea, marketing a commitment to the plight of our people. And I think, comrades, if there's anything I can say about this man, let this be it. And it doesn't even capture a tiny minuscule of what can be said about him. I have attempted to do the best I can. And I will call upon all of us to participate and Put our two table worth on the table. Thank you very much for coming.